Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Gurkirit, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my manga haul for the month of January 2021. Stick around until the end of the video because I have an important update to share with all of you. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first manga that I picked up for this month is Komi Can't Communicate, volumes 1, 2, and 3. The series is written and illustrated by Tomohito Oda. If you watch my manga shopping with me video, you'll know that I actually bought this series for my sister because she's more interested in reading it than I am, although I will still read it eventually as well. To give a quick synopsis about this series, it's basically about a high school girl named Shoko Komi who is considered cool and reserved by her classmates. However, this leads to them being hesitant to approach her. This all changes when one of her classmates, Tadano, finds out that Komi is actually socially anxious and that's why she doesn't talk to people. So to change this, he sets his sights on helping her achieve the goal of making 100 friends. I think that there are a lot more than these three volumes out already, however I'm going to wait until I've read these to decide if I want to dive further into the series. The next manga that I picked up this month is Hunter x Hunter volume 11. This volume also happens to have one of my favorite covers from the series. Yoshihiro Tagashi isn't really known for his artwork, however you can see that when he puts in the effort, he is more than just a great storyteller. The story behind this volume is that I ordered it and a couple of other volumes a couple of months ago, however they kept getting delayed for various reasons. This order did eventually arrive, however I had to cancel the orders for the other volumes because of these shipping issues. Which sucks because those are the only volumes I needed to have an up to date set of Hunter x Hunter. Most of you guys watching probably already know what Hunter x Hunter is about, however I'll still give a quick synopsis. Basically the main character Gon wants to become a hunter because his own father is a hunter and he happens to be one of the greatest hunters in the world. And at a young age Gon was left with his aunt Mito so that Jin could pursue his own goals as a hunter. So as Gon grows older he decides to take the hunter exam so that he can become a hunter like his father Jin. The reason Gon decides to do this is because he wants to find out what makes being a hunter so great. So great in fact that even his own father would abandon him at a young age so that he could pursue his own goals as a hunter. Along with having the goal of eventually finding his father. For this series I would recommend that you guys watch the anime over reading the manga. My reasoning for recommending the anime over the manga is because I think the anime improves upon the manga in certain aspects. And what I mean by this is that it uses things like voice acting, the soundtrack, and also high quality art and animation among other things to improve upon upon the manga. Overall, it just has a great anime adaptation and I think it's worth checking out. The final manga that I picked up this month was Solonin, which is written and illustrated by Inio Asano. I think that in the original Japanese release, this manga was released as two volumes, however in the English release it was released as a single volume omnibus. I'll also give a quick synopsis about what Solonin is about. Basically the main character Meiko Inoue is a recent college grad who is living with her boyfriend Naruo. The thing is she hates her current job and she's questioning what her purpose in life actually is. I personally haven't read this manga yet, however I've heard that it's a great introduction to what Inio Asano's writing is like, especially because it's only a single volume. I've also heard that this manga is great for those that are young adults and they're kind of confused about what their next steps in life should be. You don't have to fit into this demographic to read it, however I think that it would just leave a bigger impact if you read it at that stage of your life. Well guys, that was all of the manga I picked up for this month. It was a small haul, especially compared to past hauls that I've shown on this channel, however there's a pretty big reason for that and it ties back in to the update that I talked about at the beginning of this video. The update that I wanted to give you guys was that I've committed one of the greatest sins that a manga collector can make. I've gotten book drunk. I've been buying a lot of manga over the past few months, however I haven't been reading any of it. So because of this, I won't really be doing any more manga haul videos for the next little while until I've read all of the series that I have on my to be read list, which at the moment is quite a lot. I just can't justify buying more manga at this time because I haven't even been reading what I already own. Well guys, that's all I really have for this one. If you guys enjoyed watching this video then please leave a like as it really helps the channel out and also comment down below which manga you've picked up this month or which manga you plan on picking up this month. And also subscribe because then you'll be notified when I post new content. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.